Hi, in this lab we will see the routing part in the AWS through the AWS portal. So as I told, when you create any new VPC, it comes with the default route table, which is also called as main route table. So if you go to the AWS portal and under VPC, if you select route table, you will see the route tables. So in my example, I have three route tables over here. However, if you see the main, I have two main route table. So this is nothing but when I created my VPCs, I have two VPCs. It comes with the default route table, which is main. So if I see the rules or if I see the routing entry in this particular route table, so you will see only one entry, which is the default entry. It says that 10.125.0.0, the target is local. It means within this particular VPC, you can communicate each other. It means, let's say if you have five subnets within this particular VPC, so you can communicate within your subnets using this route table. So if you do not have this route entry, then you are not able to communicate each other in a VPC. So this is very important. So in order to communicate within your VPCs, for example, let's say one VPC, one virtual machine in subnet one and one virtual machine in subnet two if you wanted to communicate each other this particular route should be so if you do not have this particular route entry in your route table then it is not possible to communicate each other so this is exclusively to communicate within the vpc not outside the vpc that is the reason it is saying that local so if you wanted to add any route entry to this you can click on edit and you can add new entry over here However, in a production environment, it is always advised you do not use the default one or the main one. Instead of you create your own route table and then you attach this to your subnets. So one more important note about the default or main route table is whenever you create a VPC, as I told, it will create automatically and it will attach this route table to all your subnets in that VPC automatically. So if you go to subnets at a if you go to subnet association so here see subnets without explicit association it means by default it is attaching to your production vda subnet as well as vda management subnet it means what all the subnets available in that vpc by default it will attach the main route table so this is very important to note so let's see how to create a custom route table and how we can attach that custom route table to our subnets so to create custom route table, we need to click on create route table over here. So you can give a name here. So I'm going to your name as custom route table and you need to select the VPC. This is very important. So I have to select one of the VPCs. So in this example, I'll choose the first VPC, which is AD0 ending with, which is VDA VPC. And then I'll simply click on create route table. So now I have created the route table. However, as you can see, by default, it will add an entry, which is 10.125.0.0. It will allow you to communicate locally. So if you go to subnet association, you do not have any subnet associated over here. So it will see explicit subnet association zero. So in this custom route table, you have only one entry which will allow you to communicate internally within your subnets in a VPC. However, let's say you have a virtual machine. It wanted to communicate uh, with the internet or with your on-premise. Then you need to add a route accordingly. For example, let's say if you wanted to communicate to your on-premise. So you need to mention your on-premise IP address details over here. And the target, you need to mention the VPN gateway, etc. Which will allow you to communicate with your on-prem. Similarly, if you have your... Uh, uh, if you wanted to communicate with the internet, then you need to select the uh, this particular IP address, which is 0.0.0.0, which represents the uh, internet. And here you need to select the internet gateway, which is this one. So once you add all these details, then only you are able to communicate with the internet as well as with the on-premise. So this is related to the custom route table. So once you have the entry over here, then you need to associate this route table to your subnets. Otherwise, this route table won't take any effect. For example, let's say, as you can mention here, we have two subnets, production VDA subnet and VDA management subnets. So here it is mentioned that 
following subnets have not been explicitly associated with any route table therefore associated with the main route table it means by default it will use the main route table however we can attach our new route table to the subnet so to attach new route table to the subnet you need to click on edit subnet association and then you need to select your subnets for example let's say for the production vdi subnet you wanted to use your newly created custom route table then you need to select the production video subnet and then you can click on save association the moment you click on save association any vms or any vda or any virtual machines inside this production video subnet it will use this particular route table and accordingly it will communicate with the destination for example let's say now we have linked this particular route table to the production video subnet so now if you wanted to communicate with internet from the vms which is in the production video subnet first it will check in the route table do you have any entry to talk to the internet so for as as of now there is no entry uh, which allow you to talk to the internet then the traffic will drop so then comes to the on premise so if let's say if you wanted to communicate anything with the on prem first it will check with the route table so there is no entry then it will drop the traffic and then third comes let's say if you wanted to talk to any of your virtual machine within the vpc or in the another subnets in the same vpc so then the traffic will check the route table so however i have a route here which says that within my vpc i have to communicate using the target as local it means within the subnets or within the uh, vpc the communication is allowed and it can use this particular route entry to communicate so then the traffic will reach the destination so the communication will be succeeded so this is how routing works in amazon web service